Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Mohammed Al Jagbir. I'm a pulmonologist and intensivist. I came mainly to help with the intensive care unit, ICU care here at European General Hospital. Um, you know, I came, uh, I'm, I'm part of JAPA, Jordanian American Physicians Association, and I came uh, with coordination with PAMA, Palestinian American Medical Association, uh, to help with the dire situation in Gaza hospitals. Um, you know, this is 12 days in so far. We came for a two week mission, and I can say until now, really nothing could have prepared us for what we've seen here at the European Gaza Hospital. The situation, the healthcare is collapsing. Uh, a lot of it is already collapsed. The, uh, there's a lot of vital services that are not available in the ICU. A lot of basic lab work was not available. I actually remember my second day here where I was told there's no labs for that day. The CT scan was down and intermittently electricity was out. So we end up examining patients and making decisions based on physical examination and x-rays if we can get them. Uh, there's no dialysis and there's no many other vital services that we need in intensive care unit. Yet the spirits are high for the staff. Everybody's appreciative and want to help. Everybody really loves having us around to help them as well. Um, so that's, that's been my experience at the European Gaza Hospital. Going forward, I hope the only, the only solution for this to come back, to rebuild the system, is for the atrocities to, by, done by, to, to be over so we can actually rebuild the system. Um, I, I'm looking forward to kind of help the residents here, uh, rebuild Gaza Hospital, Gaza Hospitals, especially the European Gaza Hospital, um, that has really a great potential to go back to what it once was.